coastal waters from Fort Mansfield, Texas to Rio Grande, out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Baton Bay to Fort Mansfield, Texas, out 20 nautical miles. Small craft advisory in effect from Tuesday morning through Tuesday afternoon. Tonight, south winds 10 to 15 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots. Can't see it, but it's still 7. It is 3 to 5 feet. Tuesday, south winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 5 to 7 feet with occasional seas up to 8 feet. Tuesday night, south winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 4 to 6 feet with occasional seas up to 7 feet. Slight chance of showers after midnight. Wednesday, east winds 10 to 15 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet with occasional seas up to 7 feet. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday night, east winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming southeast 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 5 to 7 feet with occasional seas up to 8 feet. Chance of showers. Thursday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Slight chance of showers. Thursday night, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Slight chance of showers. Friday, southeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet with occasional seas up to 7 feet. Friday night, south winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 6 feet with occasional seas up to 7 feet. Saturday, south winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas 5 to 7 feet with occasional seas up to 8 feet. Saturday night, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots, shifting northeast after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Here is the marine forecast. For the following marine locations, waters from Fort Mansfield, Texas to Rio Grande extending from 20 nautical miles to 60 nautical miles, and waters from Baton Bay to Fort Mansfield extending from 20 to 60 nautical miles. Small craft advisory in effect from Tuesday morning through Tuesday afternoon. Tonight, south winds 10 to 15 knots increasing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Tuesday, south winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 8 feet with occasional seas up to 9 feet. Tuesday night, south winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 5 to 7 feet with occasional seas up to 8 feet. Slight chance of showers after midnight. Wednesday, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming east 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet with occasional seas up to 7 feet. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday night, east winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming southeast 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 5 to 7 feet with occasional seas up to 8 feet. Chance of showers. Thursday, south winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southeast 5 to 10 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet with occasional seas up to 7 feet. Slight chance of showers. Thursday night, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots, increasing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Slight chance of showers. Friday, southeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 5 to 7 feet with occasional seas up to 8 feet. Friday night, south winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 5 to 7 feet with occasional seas up to 8 feet. Saturday, south winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 6 to 8 feet with occasional seas up to 9 feet. Saturday night, south winds 5 to 10 knots becoming northeast 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 5 to 7 feet with occasional seas up to 8 feet. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. The hazardous weather outlook for portions of deep south Texas. For tonight, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. The extended outlook for the period Tuesday through Sunday and elevated risk of rip currents is possible along area beaches through the weekend. A wind advisory has been issued for gusty winds on Tuesday across the lower valley spotter information statement. Spotter activation will not be needed.
the hazardous weather outlook for portions of the Gulf of Mexico and the Laguna Madre. For tonight, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. The extended outlook for the period Tuesday through Sunday small craft advisories have been issued for the lower Texas Gulf coastal waters Tuesday. Additional small craft advisories may be needed Friday through Sunday. Spotter information statement, spotter activation will not be needed. Wind advisory in effect from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. West, south wind 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 miles per hour expected. Where? Inland Willisey, Inland Cameron, Coastal Willisey and Coastal Cameron counties. When? From 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. Impacts. Gusty winds could blow around unsecured objects. Tree limbs could be blown down and a few power outages may result. Additional details. Gusty winds could blow around unsecured lightweight objects. Tree limbs and palm fronds could be blown down and a few power surges or outages may result. High-profile or lightweight vehicles may be difficult to handle, especially on bridges or overpasses and in crosswinds. A wind advisory means that winds of 30 to 39 miles per hour are expected. Winds this strong can make driving difficult, especially for high-profile vehicles. Use extra caution. Small craft advisory for winds in effect from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. The National Weather Service in Brownsville has issued a small craft advisory for winds, which is in effect from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. Winds increasing 20 knots gusts 25 to 28 knots. The water's becoming choppy too rough. A small craft advisory for wind means that wind speeds of 20 to 33 knots are expected. And experienced mariners, especially those operating smaller vessels, should avoid navigating in these conditions. Small craft advisory in effect from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. The National Weather Service in Brownsville has issued a small craft advisory, which is in effect from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. With south 20 to 25 knots, just up to 32 knots possible. Waves and seas, 5 to 7 feet, occasional 8 feet. A small craft advisory means that wind speeds of 20 to 33 knots are expected to produce hazardous wave conditions to small craft. And experienced mariners, especially those operating smaller vessels, should avoid navigating in these conditions. Thank you for listening to Weather Radio, broadcasting to the Rio Grande Valley from your National Weather Service in Brownsville. Here's a look at the latest available marine conditions at 7 o'clock p.m. 35 miles northeast of Port Mansfield, south wind at 16 knots, gusting to 19. Air temperature 75 degrees. Gulf water temperature 75 degrees. Wave height 3 feet with a period of 5 seconds. 200 miles east of Port Isabel, southeast wind at 19 knots, gusting to 23. Air temperature 76 degrees. Gulf water temperature 78 degrees. Wave height 3 feet with a period of 4 seconds. Predicted heads for the South Padre Island jetties. Rest of today, a high 3.56 p.m. Tuesday, a low at 7.57 a.m. A high 5.06 p.m. Water temperatures in the Bay near Port Isabel, 60 million degrees. In the surf at South Padre Island, 68 degrees. Sunset at 5.38 p.m. Sunrise Tuesday at 6.56 a.m. The Tropical Weather Outlook. For the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico, tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next five days. Here's a look at your 700 p.m. weather conditions. At the International Airport in Brownsville, under fair skies, the temperature was 73 degrees, 2.65, making the relative humidity 75%. Winds were from the south at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.73 and steady. And at the Valley International Airport in Harlingen, under clear skies, the temperature was 74 degrees, 2.65, making the relative humidity 73%.
winds were from the south at 13 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.72 and rising. Weather conditions across the region at 7 o'clock p.m. at Harlan Gym, clear, temperature 74 degrees. South wind at 13. Bayview, fair, temperature 73 degrees. South wind at 9. Brownsville, fair, temperature 73 degrees. South wind at 12. Reynosa, partly cloudy, temperature 73 degrees. Southeast wind at 12. Edinburgh, clear, temperature 74 degrees. Southeast wind at 12. Mac Allen, clear, temperature 76 degrees. Southeast wind at 16. Zapotov, fair, temperature 74 degrees. Southeast wind at 3. Tebronville, clear, temperature 73 degrees. Calm. Elsewhere across Texas at this hour, Laredo, clear, 78 degrees. Del Rio, clear, 76 degrees. El Paso, mostly cloudy, 60 degrees. Amarillo, clear, 46 degrees. At DFW Airport, mostly cloudy, 62 degrees. Houston, mostly cloudy, 74 degrees. Austin, mostly cloudy, 75 degrees. San Antonio, partly cloudy, 72 degrees. And in Corpus Christi, mostly cloudy, 71 degrees. <laughs> Here's your National Weather Service forecast for Brownsville, Harlan Gym, and surrounding areas. Wind advisory in effect from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time Tuesday. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. Low 66 to 71. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, becoming 10 to 20 miles an hour late in the night. Tuesday, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. Windy. Highs in the mid to upper 80s. South winds 20 to 30 miles an hour. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming cloudy. Patchy fog after midnight. Low 68 to 73. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Wednesday, patchy fog in the morning. Mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs near 80. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of showers. Low 62 to 67. Thanksgiving Day, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers. Highs in the lower 80s. Looking ahead at your extended weather forecast, Thursday night and Friday, mostly cloudy. Low 65 to 75. Highs in the 80s. Friday night and Saturday, partly cloudy. Low 65 to 75. Highs in the 80s. Saturday night and Sunday, not as warm. Partly cloudy. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the 60s. Highs in the 70s. Sunday night and Monday, partly cloudy. Lows 45 to 55. Highs in the 60s. The hazardous weather outlook for portions of deep south Texas. For the next no hazardous weather. Alright, that was a somewhat full channel cycle of WWG 34 in Brownsville, Texas. I know I've gotten lots of channel cycles of this. It's on this one. Alright. That's it.